the sprawling Bel Air estate owned by late media tycoon Jerry Parencio, that was once the home of the Beverly Hillbillies, is now the priciest public offering at $245 million after being shopped as a pocket listing. As the home hit the public market with multiple listing service, it underwent an eye-popping price slash of $100 million. It was previously being shopped at $350 million, however the public sale doesn't stop it from keeping its title as most expensive in the United States. The anticipated sale of the estate, known as Chartwell, is expected to beat the current record sale in Los Angeles County. The record sale for a home was $110 million, which was set in April, when Peter Morton sold his oceanfront manse in Malibu, according to the Los Angeles Times. Parencio, the former CEO of Onavision who died in May at the age of 86, left behind the lavish home. The Onavision chief enhanced and restored the limestone mansion with designer Henry Samuel and architect Pierre Barbe. The sprawling main house recalls 18th century chateaus and boasts a ballroom, a huge 12,000 bottle wine cellar, a salon and is connected by elevators and underground tunnels. It was built by renowned architect Sumner Spaulding in 1930 for a property developer and his wife. But the pair didn't move in, so it's lay empty until the 1940s, according to Variety. In the 1960s, it was known as the home of the Clampett family on the Beverly Hillbillies. The sprawling property was shown in the opening credits and throughout the popular sitcom that ran from 1962 to 1971. In the first episode, when the Clampets first lay eyes on their new home, they mistake it for a prison. They then move in and make themselves at home. The estate itself, after the series finished, was also owned by renowned hotelier Arnold Kirkaby before Parencio bought it in 1986. The 10.3-acre estate features large gardens, a 75-foot swimming pool, a tennis court and an underground car park for 40 cars. Share this article Share there are five properties on the entire estate, including the longtime residence of Ronald and Nancy Reagan. Parencio bought the former first couple's property for $15 million in June 2016. His estate boasts impressive views of downtown Los Angeles over the treetops at the edge of the estate. Parencio made his name as a talent manager, working with artists including Andy Williams, Johnny Mathis and Sergio Mendes in the 1960s. He also worked as a sports promoter before a successful television career with Tandem Productions, producing well-known TV hits including All in the Family and Sanford and Son. His film production credits include Blade Runner and Driving Miss Daisy, and his Embassy Pictures company sold to Coca-Cola for a cool $485 million in 1985.